Hi, I'm Kyle, and today I'm going to be going over the FET Build an Atom simulation. Um, as you can see, when you come to the home page of the, the start of the simulation, you see Atom, Symbol, and Game. Um, it's best, I would say, to start with Atom to get a feel for the simulation. And at the end, once you have a, you, you can see how um, ions and elements work in the Atom that you build. Um, you can go over to the game and test yourself. Um, also, looking over symbol um, can be very helpful, but it's very similar. Um, so at first, this does come across as um, a little bit of a chemistry kind of lab, but um, physics is the study of physical systems, and that is going to often tend, often tend to include um, mass. I mean, unless you're looking at um, photons or waves, you're almost always going to have mass. So here, um, you go to this original page, and you can just add um, protons, neutrons, and electrons to an atom. Um, so uh, it unfortunately only gives you a certain amount of um, protons, neutrons, and electrons you can add. So you can't um, make anything, any uh, element past neon because obviously the element depends on the amount of protons that you add. Um, it's also very interesting because you can show the atom as a cloud, or in this case the ion, as a cloud, um, because obviously electrons are much more complicated in reality than perfect orbits around a nucleus. Um, but this is just a good visual demonstration of what an ion would look like. So this is uh, a standard stable negative two um, oxygen ion. And of course, if I um, add too many neutrons, it's gonna destabilize it. You can check whether or not you wanna see if it's stable or not. Um, also, whether it's neutral, a normal element, or an ion of that element. So this, of course, is an ion because we have um, 10 electrons and eight protons. Um, and you can see what element it is. And as I said before, that is going to rely on the amount of protons you put. Um, you could bring these pages up and down. They just show you the mass and net charge of the element that you have shown. Uh, if you come over here, it's very similar. It's just also going to be showing you the um, the atomic, like the the symbol of the element that you have up. So um, other than that, the whole page works the same. You can refresh it, refresh it to to start over with uh, a new um, a new element or ion as you want to create them. So yeah, and finally, uh, to finish off the lab, you get to test yourself with a little game. Um, there's four different games you can choose from. Uh, all of them have to relate with um, with all the things that we just went through. So you can go. Um, find the element with 8 protons, 10 neutrons, and 8 electrons, and can you t t continue to test yourself in that kind of way. Um, or you can go to, you know, look at different layouts of elements or ions that have been created and say um, what their charge is or what their mass is as it quizzes you. Or um, go for a more random kind of test that includes... Um, everything and yeah it um, it can help build up a better understanding of the atoms that you're working with um, with your physical interactions in physics so uh, thank you for taking the time to listen to me